episode two of our mini series on single family offices. And yet again, I'm joined by Kat Zagati to talk SFO. Kat, good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me today. So what is the theme du jour? Uh, what is the angle that we want to cover today? Okay. So my question for you today, Jan, is what benefits do SFOs provide? So the main advantage of a single family office structure as opposed to buying something from the market is the ability to personalize the services provided. And these uh, services, this menu of services can be tailored to meet each family's specific needs. So it can be tiny, it can be broader, uh, somewhere in between, and it can evolve over time. Uh, generally includes basics like concierge service, personal services, but also something a little bit more boring like tax reporting and compliance it can be investment in strategy business advisory. Uh, it can be investment policies and procedures, uh, wealth planning, uh, uh, someone getting married, what should I do? Should I do a will, succession planning? Um, also philanthropic endeavor, quite big in this region, so you can organize these, monitor these, um, as well as legal advisory, which can be consolidated in this mm -hmm. family structure. And what are the true benefits of having an SFO? So you can have plenty of benefits in personalizing. Uh, the, the two I like the most is, is really to try to get uh, alignment uh, of interest between advisors and family. Uh, and to really receive impartial investment advice, which is difficult to get if you do not have this structure. The second is you keep it in the family. That means it's private. You are not giving too much uh, data outside. So this is uh, a key benefit. Now, mm -hmm. uh, when you talk about not giving information outside, uh, there is still a benefit in doing so. So you need to balance the two. Uh, you need to carefully balance outsourcing mm -hmm. versus keeping in the family because relying on an outsourced advice is likely to decrease cost. Uh, yeah. You will also ensure that you get, receive top-notch and most up-to-date data from the market so that you can educate the families on the latest uh, wealth management tools or strategies. Uh, whereas if you keep uh, it in the family, you, as I mentioned, increase confidentiality, you mm -hmm. have tighter control by the family and you avoid conflict of interest. So these uh features needs to be balanced and generally what we see is that some families uh keep it in the family for a couple of items but outsource the rest mm -hmm. got it so i understand that an sfo must evaluate carefully which services should be outsourced to professionals and which services should be kept within the family to maintain privacy and control over the structure as you said yeah Yes, and this is something that uh, we regularly do with families. We sit in them, we fact find, we 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 identify what their needs are, and we can propose solutions that are both in house or outsourced. Typically, uh, outsourcing for some time, then recruiting someone, uh, or vice versa. Easy to do. Okay, good. Thanks, Ian. Thanks for your time today. And as I said in our previous webcast, we do have a comprehensive fact sheet on SFO describing all options of SFOs available here in the UAE. And we are happy to share that with qualifying applicants. Thanks again for today.